Most likely you have already read the What's New in SOLIDWORKS 2023 document. Great document full of enhancements. What is missing from here? This is the purpose of this series of videos. This is the third video focusing on undocumented enhancements in SOLIDWORKS 2023. And today we're going to talk about markups. Markups are fantastic. They have so many use cases. In this video, I'll show you how SOLIDWORKS 2023 completes the markups functionality, opening several new use cases, especially for drawing users. Let's take a look uh, in this document in the drawings uh, chapter, if I can find it. There you go. Let's see if they say anything about markups. So it looks like nothing is related to markups in this document. Well, let's go to SOLIDWORKS. On the left, I have SOLIDWORKS 2022. On the right, I have SOLIDWORKS 2023. Same drawing, multiple sheets. I would like to create several markups on various sheets. So let's switch to sheet number three. Uh, let's focus on this view and let's say we did a bit of checking and we found out that uh, this specific dimension is okay. So I'm just going to put here an okay sign. Let's do the same thing on uh, SOLIDWORKS 2023. So sheet number three and is about this dimension. I'm going to add a markup here. Let's make sure we have the right color. It's green and this is fine. Good. Let's uh, move on to sheet number four. So over here, I'm going to say um, all is, I, I don't have any comment here. Sheet number five, probably would be a good idea to talk about uh, this note here. So let's add a markup and I'm going to use it as red question mark, right? And you can add notes, you know, Markups are so rich. Let's do the same thing here in SOLIDWORKS 2022. So sheet number five. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, we are talking about this specific dimension. So markup, color red. I'm lucky that I have a touch screen, but as you, can know, as you know, you can use other ways to input this uh, data using a mouse, uh, type in text, Lots of options. Good. We exit the markup. And uh, let's see the functionality at this point. Notice the markups are actually listed in the feature manager. Markup 1, markup 2. You can rename them if you want. And the good news about that is that if you want to go very quickly to where that markup is, first of all, notice I'm getting this nice little preview about markup number 2. Uh, nothing about markup number 1 because it's not on this sheet. If I want to double click on this, notice I'm getting automatically to that specific markup. So that's useful, right? Double click on markup two, I'm getting there. Doesn't matter where I am on this sheet, simply, it's almost like uh, saving uh, a view orientation, right? I'm here, double click on markup two, I'm going there. What if I want to go to markup one? Well, in SOLIDWORKS 2022, I don't really have an option. I need to know what sheet this markup is, otherwise you cannot really navigate there. In SOLIDWORKS 2023, a simple double click takes you directly there. So that in my mind is spectacular. The other thing is as you move over this um, feature manager entries for markup, notice it tells you where they are. Sheet number three, markup one. Sheet number five, markup two. So not only you can use markups for communicating uh, information between checkers and designers or between uh, designers themselves, ways to take notes on the drawings, but also you can use them as bookmarks. Very quickly you can navigate to any part of your drawing. In my mind, this is a fundamental change that will improve efficiency of drawing users tremendously. The power users, but also light drawing users. So, the number three undocumented enhancement in SOLIDWORKS 2023 is enhanced functionality for markups in the drawing. Thank you very much.